Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to do another new perfumes announcement video for you guys. These are going to be five new perfumes, actually six new perfumes, that will be released in 2020. Um, yeah, it's difficult to test things at the moment. I know that with the current situation, the whole perfume store testing experiences are going to change a lot, at least where I am. I have heard that the tester bottles won't be out um, on the shelves anymore for you to test uh, at your own leisure. You have to ask an essay to test whatever you want. So oh, that's going to be so difficult for me because usually when I walk into a store, um, I test like at least 20 perfumes and now thinking and I do it at my own pace and no one bothers me and the essay asks me if I want help and I say no and I do appreciate that they offer the help of course but I just like to be left alone in my own little world of testing perfumes and that has worked for me really well over the years but now like I'm imagining me walking around the store and then asking an essay to like test like 20 perfumes at one time they'll probably get really sick of me I'll probably feel pressured to buy something just based on you know first impressions first sniff and I just don't you know it just doesn't seem like a, a very nice shopping experience or testing experience so, so kind of bummed out about that to be honest but hopefully things get better or maybe I'll find another way or just buy samples online or something or look for splits or decants or something like that on like uh, websites or whatever we'll see how it goes but anyways these are five fragrances I'm going to leave the fragrances that I am looking forward to the most to the very end of this video and let's begin so the first fragrance is YSL Mon Paris and Tonsei Ma <laughs> so I guess this is the answer to uh, Lancome's La Vie Belle in Tonsei Ma I guess they needed to um, you know, respond to that release. It's obviously a flanker of the Mon Paris, the original Mon Paris perfume. It is going to be a fruity, floral, rose, woody, and sweet perfume. The notes in this one, there's quite a lot. There's bergamot, pear, raspberry, blackcurrant, and orange in the opening. In the mid, there's Tatura, rose, rose, peony, and freesia. So that's two times rose. And in the base, there's cashmere, patchouli, benzoin, musk, and vanilla. So, to be honest, nothing from this line, this entire line, has worked well on my skin. So I'm going to assume that this one probably also won't work. Uh, I will say that the bottle is absolutely stunning, though. Just that bottle design sitting on any woman's or man's collection would just look fantastic I think so I will give bonus points for uh, whoever designed this bottle for YSL it is stunning but I, I'm not really looking forward to this one just because of my experience with the other perfumes of this collection which did not work they were very uh, meh on my skin quite boring uh, yeah, I pretty much hate this line, <laughs> sorry to say, but I will give it a chance if I am able to. So the second new release is L'Occitane Oud Praline. This is classified as an oriental vanilla perfume. It's uh, spicy, sweet, nutty, oud and caramel are the uh, main accords. The notes in this one, on the top, there's cardamom, coriander, and ginger, so a very spicy opening. In the mid, there's hazelnut, caramel, and praline, which sound absolutely delicious. And in the base, there's oud. So obviously, looking from the notes here, we can probably assume it's going to be a gourmand, a spicy gourmandy oud. I don't think I've ever heard of any other oud perfumes from L'Occitane, so I am very, very curious about this one. I do own it one perfume from this house, the honey, the honey tea one. Oh my gosh, it is my one of my absolute favorites, which is uh, discontinued, unfortunately. Uh, but if it's anything as good, if this oud praline is anything as good as that honey perfume that I own, um, it's going to be amazing. So I'm thinking along the lines of Zerjoff, Mamluk, or 
uh, Zerjov Alcott or uh, the Amikolev Oud Gourmet, something like that, maybe. We'll see. But uh, it sounds wonderful, you guys. It does. I mean, I'm looking forward to that one for sure. Okay, so the third fragrance release is Carolina Herrera Go Good Girl Fantastic Pink. So this is the exact same bottle, uh, the bottle shape of the Good Girl with the high heel, but now they have um, added some sparkly pink glitter to it. <laughs> Uh, as far as I know, this is the exact same perfume, the exact same juice as the original Good Girl. It's just in a fancy collector's bottle. Um, I have mentioned before that the uh, Carolina Herrera Good Girl uh, perfume was not for me at all. I didn't like it. It didn't work for me. So obviously this one also won't. But I guess for bottle collectors, this might be something um, to own or check out. <laughs> Before all of the perfume stores closed, I did, I was able to actually, I did see this in the store. I can just post a picture somewhere here. Um, so yeah, it is a very fancy bottle and it is, I guess, a statement piece or a conversation starter <laughs> kind of thing. But as for the juice, not a fan, just my opinion. Okay, so the fourth fragrance release for 2020 is from the house of Juliet Has a Gun. This is called Lipstick Fever. It comes in this bottle with ombre black and red kind of theme going on. Kind of, it reminds me of like a gothic kind of scent or like a vampire, a vampiress kind of thing. Um, so the notes in this one, in the top, there's raspberry and violet absolute. In the mid, there's patchouli essence and iris absolute. And in the base, there's Vanilla Absolute and Cedar. So there's a lot of absolutes in here. Um, the press release of this one says that it's opulent, sensual, and very kissable. Uh, a gourmand, fe fem feminine, contemporary composition. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> kind of a tongue twister thing for me. Um, yeah, The House of Juliet has a gun. Didn't really work for me, to be honest. There's a few from this line that I enjoy like the mm, the the four m's which is a fragrance that smells very similar to hypnotic poison also i found midnight oud to be a very interesting um oud fragrance it smells it is oily too like it has that smell of oil in it which i thought was really interesting but everything else from this house that i've tested and i have made a video about it a long time ago it just was it smelled terrible on me you guys to be honest it just did not work on my skin at all so if I see this in the store uh, I'll probably test it but uh, I'm gonna I'm not that excited about it if I'm gonna be honest about it okay guys so now these are the last fragrances that I want to talk about the new releases for 2020 these are the ones that I'm most looking forward to. The reason why there's two is because they're part of the same collection. So uh, from Guerlain Aqua Allegoria, they have two new ones. Uh, one is called Orange Soleia and the other one is Granada Salvia. So the Orange Soleia is inspired by Sicilian orange groves. Uh, that sounds fantastic. In the, in the notes, we have bergamot, orange, and pink pepper in the top. In the mid, we have mint and peppermint, which sounds fantastic. And in the base, there's tonka and musk. So yeah, this, this is basically going to be a fresh, sweet, orangey mint perfumes. And that mint and the peppermint, those two notes are what makes me kind of excited because uh, I really love mandarin basilic. And now I'm just picturing if you added the note of mint to it to make it even more fresh and cooling and refreshing to wear in the summertime. Um, that sounds amazing. Now the Granada Salvia is inspired by Andalusian Gardens. In the top we have black currant, lemon and bergamot. And in the mid we have sage, cypress and rose. And in the base, moss, white musk and patchouli. So just looking at these notes, it looks like it's going to be just a fruity, green, herbally kind of musk scent maybe leaning towards a uh, masculine side. I have no idea, but this sounds also very nice. And basically, in my opinion, I've tried a lot of the Aqua Allegorias, not all of them. There's a lot of older ones uh, that are discontinued, but what, from what I have tried, 
I honestly think you really can't go wrong with anything from the Aqua Allegoria line. Um, just know that they are quite simple scents. They're quite light and fresh and easy to wear and just a very nice um, experience to, to wear on yourself if you're looking for that kind of thing. Just something very light and happy, um, uplifting and just a burst of freshness and cleanness. And so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to these for sure. For sure. I think they're going to be fantastic. All right, guys. So those were the perfume releases, new perfumes, 2020. There's so, so many of them, I know, but I'll keep doing these videos uh, just so long as they keep on pumping them out. I'll just let you guys know uh, of the ones that, uh, that will be released this year and just like my quick thoughts. I hope you guys are enjoying these types of videos. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.